you know, I, I love my truck, but uh, we got one tiny little problem. It ain't loud enough. I'm used to vehicles that I can not hear myself think. I can do just that. I can hear myself thinking down the road, and I don't like it. We're going to fix that. It's a Z71. It's an off-road truck. It says it right there, off-road. It's got to be allowed. It's got to be able to go off-road and be heard at 3 a.m., cackling down the neighborhood. I got to wake up the neighbors. I want them to be able to hear me when I'm firing it up to go to work at 5 a.m. Yeah, let's do it. So you're gonna wanna take the dullest Sawzall blade you got in your dad's brand new Sawzall, due to you, with a brand new battery. And we're just gonna start cutting. We're not even gonna measure, mark. All right, let's go. So as you can see, I already went ahead and straight piped it, took the resignator out, but it still ain't enough. So we're really looking at this thing and I was like, hmm, okay, let's take this out and see what it does. So I think what I'm going to do is I saw there's a clamp here with a half inch bolt and we're going to go ahead and take the bolt out there and uh, try to get as close as we can take in the sawzall do a cut there and do a cut somewhere probably I'd say up here and try to finagle a special exhaust in here. Yeah, it's going to sound great. <clears throat> So I got this at a local swap meet a little while back. I actually picked up two of them for about 60 bucks. That's not bad. These are the Purple Horny Glass Pack Cherry Bombs. I saw it was purple. It caught my eye, okay? Leave me alone. I like purple. So before I start cutting, we're going to go ahead and put this thing on ramps. That way I get more lift on the truck. Maybe I should just get a lift kit. Anyway, we're going to lift this thing up. I'm going to go underneath and carefully cut it. I wasn't serious about the dull blade part. Come on, man. You don't. That goes out. Do this. All the way. All. Just try and bolt that first. Fine. I just gotta. I have a thousand freaking miles of thread here. Get ejected. Oh, that's why I have a little tab up there. Okay, this might be a little bit easier. So let's take this, cut there now, and then we'll go back here and cut this, unless we decide to cut this first. Probably be easiest to do this, get this out of the way. I want to make a cut up here somewhere because I don't want to be able to cut too much off and then just, I can't put any metal back. Make a cut here. Start cutting the weight. Voided. All right. Before I go any further, kind of fire it up now. Let's see what it sounds like. Quick. Probably not much of a difference, but. Well, it's uh definitely louder now. I like it but it's too far up there. So let's go ahead and cut the other section off, put the glass pack in there. Hopefully that should tone and even everything out. Okay, so we ran into our first problem. Say if this is the exhaust, this is up towards the cab. This is, you know, going to the back of the truck. I tried looking at this thinking it was probably three inch. The auto parts store tried telling me it's probably two and a half, which I already knew it wasn't. So when I cut it, 
and I bought a three inch adapter ID and OD. This, this ain't gonna, I knew that. So if we get rid of this, put this here, put that here, do a weld. I don't have clamps. I don't want to use clamps. The auto parts store is already closed, so I can't go back out and get the correct adapter. This is the only issue. From there back, shouldn't be an issue. It's already two and a half. Just up here is going to be the only problem that probably won't fit quite right. Scrounge around in my scrap pile and I found this little piece of tailpipe, two and a half. Because that, that's going to be a lot easier to the gap up and weld. So I think what I'm going to do is cut it here, weld this up, make that slide all out of there, and then I can probably be able to put the glass pack from the cab up back. Let's go ahead and weld this, cut that, put all that on there, and should be able to fit the rest of that on there. I'm gonna go and try to cut it as close as I can without this having to interfere, make this as straight as possible. But even you know, if I got a wiggle in there, it should fit. My goal is to try to keep it about 28 inches. If I gotta make it a little bit longer, that's fine. This was the only issue, it was the uh, three inch. Let's just see how that's gonna fit up in there. I can make that adapter slide right in there. There's a little dimple right here, so we're gonna take the ball peen hammer and I'm gonna try to tap that out, massage it out. Just enough to be able to squeeze that adapter in there that I'm gonna weld around there. And then we should be able to try to put the glass pack on there. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead and try to massage it out. So I'm gonna try heating it up here with the torch and then I'm gonna try to use the hammer. We're gonna sneak it with the hammer. Let's see if I can squeeze that thing in there. just gotta keep just so that fits in there nice and snug where i can actually weld it up somewhat i'm gonna cut the end off of that two and a half tailpipe i found and use part of that and i should be able to do that this is a terrible idea now we're getting somewhere I'm a professional exhaust guy. Now we're just gonna try to weld that gap up the best we can. That should work, but we're not gonna do any of that yet. I'm gonna put all this in there loosely, make sure it fits. Went ahead and massage that out. Now I'm gonna weld all that. I should be able to take this. So basically we're making another reducer. We're going to a three OD to a three ID to a two and a half OD to a two and a half ID. We're just reducing it down to a two and a half so we can put the glass pack on. So I think what I'm going to try to do is weld all this up and then I'll cut wherever I need to cut this. Put the glass pack in there and weld up all the glass pack stuff. So before I actually start welding, I just remembered I should probably disconnect the battery. This is not going to be a very straight cut. I hope that's going to be straight enough. Well, I'm going to start probably from the top roughly and start working my way down. I'm going to weld this and I'll come back to you guys here in a minute. So I'm gonna show you guys here quick. I mean, it ain't it ain't pretty. It's a weld, but I have somewhat of a consistent bead. So this is kind of what I was trying to go for, you know, giving you guys the idea. <laughs> it's not pretty. I guarantee you this is all mostly temporarily till I actually put a proper exhaust on it. But for now, this is what I'm doing. So I think if I just go ahead and kind of weld it up like that, something like that, and I can weld the glass pack there like that. Then all I gotta do is weld back there and we should be good to go. I think I got, when I welded it, most of the top. Kind of hard to see up there, but I think I did. I welded most of it. The welds aren't totally pretty. It's hard to see, but it's fairly consistent. Yep, I think that's what we're gonna go for. Something like that. 
Let me start tack welding and uh, get back with you guys here in a second. I'm going to show you guys that this welder is actually pretty decent for a little 125 from Harbor Freight. I actually like it a lot. It does pretty good. Like underneath the truck, it's a little tricky, but right here, I have a good consistent bead going all the way across the tubing. So I'm going to do a couple little beads and show you what I mean. Actually really impressed with this little thing. Alright, here we go. Let's see how this is gonna kind of glad that snag a little bit like that. Like that. Like that. Okay, so now when I go over to roll it up, I'm gonna push up on it, get the top, and I'll work my way around because this will be easier to close up the gap here. So once we do that, then we can work around the back here and probably weld up the back, and we should be pretty much done. It ain't pretty, but it'll work. That weld come out really good it's a lot trickier when underneath welding like this all right i'm gonna figure out how to clamp this i'm gonna start welding away on this we can go to the back and weld that up and we should be good to go to fire it up see how she sounds I'm gonna try to hit the top some more. If I can even reach it. Alright, so when I got that welded up, I know it's big. That should work. I gotta try to weld the top up more and I get the back. Back should be a little bit more easier because I got more room to work with up top. I'm gonna see what I can try to do. not prep any of this and I'm aware of that. Do I care? Not really. That looks awful. Absolutely terrible. I love it. That's what you want. Glob it all on there. That way it will never come off. I can't see anything. Now that's the tricky part about getting up here and being able to see what you're doing. Right now I can't see nothing. Yep. Probably should be wearing some gloves. Alright. For the most part, the exhaust is done. I'm like 82% happy with it, but it's not about how it looks. Let's just see how it sounds. I got the battery hooked up. Let's go ahead and fire it up and see what it sounds like. Probably got like 12 million freaking exhaust leaks in it now. It's fine. I think I kind of hear just a little exhaust leak. Probably get some of that with the body or hit it again in certain spots. Originally, I was going to try to shoot it out the side like a stock car. I thought it was kind of cool. That should do it for the video. I'm going to go ahead and clean up. I made a big mess. 
I'm pretty impressed with the Harbor Freight Welder, the little 125. It welds terrific. You just, you gotta learn how to weld. And anybody that wants to learn how to weld is probably a great welder to learn off of. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you like to see more videos like this.